Hello and welcome to another unboxing from Pushing Cardboard. I'm Grant Lindenberg and today we're going to have a look at Prelude to Vicksburg uh, Volume 9 in the Blind Sword series from Revolution Games um, This is uh, Chickasaw Bayou, December 26th to 29th, 1862 uh, The designer here is Stephen Oliver and uh, he also does the graphics here along with uh, Charlie Kil Charlie Kibler and uh, Mark Mark Mahaffey I think uh, does the box uh, the box cover work which is uh, they've really got a nice thing going with this series anyway let's uh, let's dive into the box and see what's up with uh, volume nine of the Blind Sword series and Sometimes the uh, shrink wrap is, feels like it's going to win in that little battle. <laughs> okay, a couple of dice as is usual for uh, these games. Uh, this card, it's the uh, turn record track, but it's also got the lovely uh, box cover on the front. And I think that's because they use, uh, when they do the, sh the uh, Ziploc version of these games, this is the uh, this is the cover plate. So the cover plate, and then the flip side is the turn record track. It also has the uh, the broken track. Here's the uh, well, a couple uh, one for each player. But this is the player aid card with the uh, combat results table that we're all used to. The uh, with the different columns, and then three different colored columns in each column. Cohesion test tables, the regular one and the close combat one, as well as a terrain key. Got something here called a corduroy bridge and a levee and a bayou. So we're getting uh, getting a oh and cypress. So a few uh, a few different terrain types that we're uh, not accustomed to in this series. Well, I can't maybe maybe someone is. I uh, I haven't played all the games yet. I've played uh, three or four of them, maybe five of them so far. Another played that is the uh, sequence of play. Uh, it's got a little extra stuff in here as well. Though. I mean, the train effects chart, usually we have that, but we've got some, some more info on the uh, how to rally, depending if you're in a defend order or a regroup order. Uh, some stacking info. Oh, a little uh, chart for Bayou entry. So there you go. And on the other side, we have Union event con descriptions. And I... This is the same chart on this side, but I bet we're going to have, yeah, Confederate event descriptions on this side. So each side gets their own uh, their own set of events, which uh, a lot of these uh, later games have, which I totally, uh, I totally dig. It's great. It makes for even more interest in the game. Union Brigade activation display, and the same for the Confederate. I really love these. These have just come in the last uh, three or four games in the series as well. Instead of putting the uh, activation... Uh, counters right on the board where they don't really belong. You uh, you put them on these uh, little charts here. So uh, so we have uh, Sherman versus Pemberton here, and uh, four division versus two divisions. But uh, that's uh, that's the way we go. Um, series rules. Uh, if you've played any of the Blind Swords games before, you know these are. Uh, Black and white, but a nice, a decent sized font. Uh, not a ton of white space, but it's not too bad. And I, I really feel like um, the later versions of the uh, Revolution's uh, rule books are getting better and better. Like the, they just, they just kind of look better. They don't look as cramped uh, and uh, as uh, difficult to read as they as they once were. They were never terribly difficult to read, but they did feel a little more cramped. Here we have the. Uh, exclusive rules and this is in color similar sort of layout and font but uh, full color and we got uh, all the info about the bayou the cypress the corduroy bridge the levee lots of lots of stuff there hmm even some 
some uh, exclusive rules on fire combat, so that's interesting. We'll have to see what that's all about. Mm. Exclusive rules on close combat. Sometimes the exclusive rules will have sp special modifiers for uh, for for their for that particular game. So, man, there is a lot of different possibilities for modifiers in close combat in uh, this game. Uh, one scenario, two scenarios, three, four, and then the biggie. So, four four scenarios. Oh, maybe not. Maybe five scenarios, and then... Oh no, this looks like a smaller one. So, looks like... F maybe this is... Maybe, you know what? This looks like the biggest one. So I'm just going to say there's six scenarios of, of varying sizes. So there you go. And... Uh, oh, and then there's a little... There's a, some um, variant rules at the end as well. So in case you want to... Um, uh, <clears throat> uh, play uh, some what ifs or something. Here's the counters. They look pretty uh, pretty standard for um, what we've come to expect f from Revolution for blind swords counters. And the flip side. Yeah, that, I mean. Other than new things like the, well, we got here's something called Pioneers and uh, Pontoon Bridges. So we got a, we got a couple of new things here. Yeah, I, um, I don't know that I've seen this before, but I, like I said, I haven't played all the games. But uh, check out this. These are fire move counters. I don't, I don't know if I've seen that for artillery pieces before. And then. Uh, Around things are like brambles or something. The rest of these uh, we've seen before. The, the shake encounters. That's all. That's all pretty familiar. And here's the uh, here's the mountain or the mountain. Here's the map. So you can see. Can't quite see all of it at this. Uh, let's see how much we can see. Oh yeah, then we can. That's the full thing. So we see some heights along this. This is called Walnut Hills or Chickasaw Bluffs across here. Then we got a lot of what appears to be marshy and river stuff and a and a big woods here. So we'll get a, a tight zoom in so you can see a bit of the detail on the map as well. Yeah, well, uh, of course, uh, originally the maps in this series were done by um, Rick Barber, but uh, lately that that work is uh, passed on to, uh, I'm, you know, I think maybe Stephen Oliver might do the maps here, because I think Charlie Kibler does the counters, but, you know, I could be totally wrong about all that. Uh, in any case, uh, that's... Uh, that's the components for um, Prelude to Vicksburg, Chickasaw Bayou. That's uh, an, another good-looking entry in the uh, in the Blind Sword series from Revolution Games. I look forward to it.